Greetings and welcome to the Champs Racing League. This is the Division 2 Race 6 at Silverstone. I'm Vince the Gamer, joined here by Stars FPS. Welcome. And Stars, do I got you with me? Uh-oh, I cannot hear anything. Give me just a moment here to fix this. Sorry about that. That would be on me. So Stars, if you can hear me, uh, unfortunately I can't hear you. Let me uh, fix this. This is probably on my end. There we go. All right, so starts. Uh, I can hear you now there, so how goes it, man? It's going good. Yourself? Excited for the day? Excited for a clean race here at Silverstone? I am excited, too. So uh, this is actually one of my favorite tracks, at least on the game. It's really fast. It's, uh, it's exciting to watch. There's a lot of opportunities for overtakes, too, so I, I think it's going to be a good one. I'm excited to see if we're going to have a repeat of real life through cops and on the first lap. Yes, uh, that would be exciting. I, no, but I don't want anybody to crash out like Max did. No. But uh, a nice fight is always nice to start the race. 100%. And I believe Sapo was the first out on track. Okay, so yes. So that appears that Sapo would be the first out. So he should be our first hot lap as long as nothing happens there. Um, so while we're waiting on this, uh, we'll go ahead and run through what the current standings are here in Division 2. Um, so currently, um, if you guys are watching here, we've got Racknex leading the championship with 75 points. And behind him, now he's got a pretty commanding lead there. But behind him, we've got Jazza with 46 for Mercedes. And Racknex, again, is with Alfa Romeo. Jazza with Mercedes for 46. Verhambot, who is not racing today for the Haas, has 38 Gibbs, who is also not racing today, and McLaren has 35. Denny with Williams uh, has 27 points. Jazz, who is not racing for Red Bull, but he does have a stand-in, if I'm not mistaken. He does, uh, Jazz. 26, and then VPJP, 7th uh, for Alfa Romeo as well with 25 points. So Alfa Romeo has got a commanding lead to the construction constructors with 100 points to Mercedes 57. So I uh, kind of give you a uh, idea of what's at stake today. Back to the on-track action. Uh, so, what are you anticipating today? What do you What do you think is going to happen here with what we've got? We've got a little bit of a smaller field, so that may change things. Because what I'm what I'm thinking here, obviously, is that uh, we're probably going to have a little bit more drivers, and you can see it now. There's already some drivers trying to go out and set laps on those uh, medium tires. Because not too many people are going to be outside the top 10. Um, so that may be a huge advantage to be in, in the top 10 with starting on mediums. Stars, are you still with me? Oh, we may have, we may have lost uh, Stars, but let's see here. Sapo is just about to start his hot lap. Coming across the line, and he should be the first one here he's got quite a bit of room in front of him obviously as a smaller field here with only 11 um should be a little bit more room for quality i am back i'm sorry about that no worries no worries um so i was just asking what what, what do you anticipate today it should be a little bit different with a smaller field it's that's well i'm hoping because of the smaller field the incidents are much more minimalized today because Usually we'd go from 20 cars on average to about 15, say 14, 15. Sure. Like, and if we lose those here today, we're going to be looking at an eight-car an eight finish. But I do expect good racing. The drivers who are here are all pretty much of equal pace at the end of the day. Uh, Serbin versus at a time in a 127.2. That's a, actually a really fast lap. Yeah, that's going to be a good one, even on a, uh, a green track there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it looks like uh, Beamer has gotten banned from the lobby already. Um, How does that happen? So, uh, he his for some reason, his computer does take a little bit longer to load in, and it kicks him and, and bans him. Um, so that's I, not something they set up, is it? Uh, so, it seems to be. So, from what I've experienced in the game so far, um, and from testing as well, if it kicks you out, which is, I think, a good addition, it also bans you, which is a bad addition. Um, so I would say we're going to red flag it, and we're going to have to restart this lobby, which is... I would, it's a good thing when there's only two times set. Yes. So... Oh, 
Oh, I need to. Okay. So I will. So you, I wonder if it'd be better for Beeman to join once the lobby started. No, we've tried that as well. Um, oh, I see. Join in afterwards. Okay, like, that might be a good let idea. Let us launch it and then have him join and just take over the seat of the Alpha Cap. Okay, that might be a good idea. So, because if we're all trying to load at the same time, that may may not uh, change. But yes, if he waits until we're all already loaded in and then he tries to join the lobby, that may be a uh, good idea there. I mean, it can't kick him out trying to load in when, because I think it's trying to kick him out because everyone else is already loaded. And they're like, all right, he's taken to like boot. Now, if he's the only one coming in, it may let him proceed through. Right. Let's see. Well, there is a. Will the uh, McLaren just sitting on drag? Oh, man. All right, so I'm making the he, new lobby now. He was leaving the session, I guarantee it, but... <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there? Yeah. He just puts a dead center of the track, not moving. Yeah. So let me make sure I've got all the settings correct here. Bear with us. Hopefully this goes smoothly. We have obviously had some issues in the past. The the new patch uh, fixed some things, but then unfortunately introduced some new issues. Which how was the fifty percent race last night? I didn't get a chance to catch it. So we did have a bit of a safety car um, glitch at one point, but it was only one of the safety cars, and I noticed that whenever there was like a, a when someone goes in the pits and they, they appear on the front straight or whatever, it would appear for a second, but they weren't sitting there. Um, so if anyone okay, else so can confirm, it, it's fixed a little bit mm -hmm. in race. But again, we're dealing with, we, we, had to, we had to do the same thing we're doing now, which we would have to create a new lobby because people would get banned. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, okay. So one, it, it's almost looking like to the fact where next season we might have to split NA and EU up for load times. Yeah, which is honestly, if, if we could get it, enough people, it wouldn't be that bad. But yeah, is what I mean. We do we got to do, unfortunately. But yeah, and that's not saying people from the EU can't race in the NA if they want to take that risk, right? Like, which, yeah, because it's it's unfortunate because it's now it's going to ban them instead of just kicking and then saying, "Hey, try again." The game mm -hmm. completely bans them. Because people like myself and I think you, we have no problem connecting the EU, right? Like, I mean, right now, even in this lobby, I have a full four bar connect, five bar connection, whatever it is. Yep. Like. Yeah, which I, I find I find weird, but I think it I don't know if it's just prioritizing EU or if it is just making it to where no matter what the North America can get in. I, I'm not sure. Because we just got to because I, I wonder what these larger like the bigger leagues are doing like MRL because they don't seem to have as many bugs as we're having. Well, I they, watch their races. Yeah, they don't have as many as us, but they do have issues. But they also split up, I've, I've noticed as well. They split up by... Not all their leagues do that, but... I don't know. It's Oh, MRL's in like four different divisions, NA and EU. Like. Yeah. And that definitely makes a difference, for sure. Alright, so i got to keep track of... How many people? Because we had, what, 11? Working on 12, is that correct? And we're sitting at 10 here. Yes, Lucas would have been the 12th, but he was coming home from his girlfriend's when I heard. Okay, well, maybe he'll be able to join. Maybe this, he's, uh, in the, he's in the VC, so... Okay, maybe he'll uh, um, benefit from this, this little issue here. Who's not in here? Lucas isn't... So it may just be that the only person we're missing is Beamer. Is Lucas, because Beamer's... I, I told Beamer to wait try to join once you start. Okay, so we can go ahead and start. That's a good deal.
All right, so we are in. Uh, we will continue to watch the uh, Discord in there to make sure that nobody is getting banned here. Yes, yeah, that was lucky that we, we noticed that right off the bat. That's good. Yep, I have race chat open, so we will see. Okay. Sapo left the session. Which means I think that's exactly what happened to Beamer last time. Is it looked as That's what it left. said exactly, yeah. And he just typed in race chat. Wait, never mind. So Sapo's indicating he'd like us to go on without him. Uh, we're going to make sure on that. All right, so we'll see if Beamer can make it in. So Sapo... Uh, well, I don't, I'm not sure if he's listening, if he was in the game. If Beamer does successfully join, I will say to the guys that typically start timing out, just wait a little bit. Right. And then join during qualifying. Yeah, and it's it's one of those things, too, where if if it's something that does generally happen a lot, it should just be maybe the way we actually, you know, there's certain people that just have to do that, unfortunately. Um, I mean, Beamer says he's in the session. Let's see if he goes out on track. Both Red Bulls are out. I've not seen that Beamer has left, so. Yep. So I think that, that did may work. be the fix. Like, if you do typically have a tendency of getting picked out and banned, like for league races, just join once it's in qualifying. <laughs> I just need confirmation from Beamer by leaving pit lane. Right, yeah. So Kale was, uh, if I'm not mistaken here, the uh, first one out. And I think we're going to go ahead and red flag it. It seems as though Sapo may have changed his mind if, uh, if Beamer. Um, so I think we're going to try one more red flag. I know that this is frustrating for everyone because uh, we're going to be backing up this race by about 40 minutes. Um, I just really wish there was more guys typing in chat that would they give their feedback. Yeah. No, we're still so early. Beamer, come out of pit lane. For the love of Okay, so Beamer said he's good. Oh, Beamer did say he's good? Yep. He's in? Okay, so that did that is the fix. Just join after. Because he I don't think Beamer was in the lobby loading in. Like I didn't see him. We had ten drivers, eleven here. Ooh, well, I'm pretty sure a Red Bull just spun out and broke his... Yeah, the Red Bull will be happy to restart. <laughs> oh, solo times. Okay, so red flag, red flag, red flag. Um, We're going to start this over. So I would say anybody as well, even if it's not just Sapo or Beamer. All right, so everybody's... Ooh. everybody's uh, Ooh, I don't know from... if they're doing that on purpose, but... I think so. <laughs> that looks horrible. Yeah. I... <laughs> Did you catch that as well? <laughs> yeah. My guess is maybe they got the red flag notification and said, let's just go ahead and hit the wall for fun. All right, so let's try this one more time. Uh, I think that we've got at least a workaround that may get everybody in here. Now, that doesn't mean that... Uh, it's going to keep everyone in, but from what my experience is, is if you can get in, you're good. And then the, the issues that happen after that will probably be affecting everyone. So 
Let's get the, and then here we go. All right, a lot of ads. I hate to do this today, but uh, race day generally results in lots of notifications. So, it's going to call it now. This will be the last reset unless we lose five drivers. I, I would then say we so don't too. Really have a choice. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. You don't get in. Yeah. It's just when we back up the times. I know even in anybody that's as far east as I, I, I believe that. Uh, not Serban is in a pretty far east time zone, and it's probably getting pretty late for him. So I know it's like almost three a.m. for Jazz. I think he's twelve Jazz hours ahead Malaysia. of us. Yeah, so mm -hmm. um, it's definitely unfortunate, but we've got to. I think doing what we did is the right thing, but yeah, it kind of backed everything up. Incident. All right, one more That makes you wonder series. how many of these guys aren't joining to just wait. Yeah, and it's it's probably not a bad idea. Um, and I think hopefully everybody's got the message at this point because seven seems pretty. There's right next. Okay. Uh, so make sure you join your teams. I've got all the settings correctly. Believe here. One last double check, and then we can go ahead. All righty. Well, I'm ready. Come on, Sapo. Just head back out. All right, Sapo, it's on you this time. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I made that second cup of coffee. Huh. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. There's no race this weekend, right? This no, is the no. off week for real life? Yep, off week, and then next week will be Coda. That's, be that's what I thought. Okay. Oh wait, BKT wants to jump in. Yeah, jump in, BKT. Is he a reserve? Yes. So he had actually right. showed as. Let me um, give him a seat. Yeah, as the reserve, but uh, never actually chose a team yet. But he's here, so there we All go. All right, I'll send him to uh, Aston. Okay. Yeah, that'll make make full teams. Okay, so I didn't see anybody leave. Uh, so it looks as though we have everything hopefully sorted out. We've got nine in here. Now we've just got to wait on the rest of those that maybe waited uh, to join to join. And hopefully we get in here. If not, uh, I hate that it's happened, but we are just going to have to move on. Lucas joined. Beamer joined. They're just going to take over their seats. Yep. Now, all the person left to join in is BKT. I don't think anyone got kicked out that time. Okay. I good. think we're good. I didn't see Sapo get kicked. I think he's the first out on track, actually. He is. Yep. Okay. So, hopefully, uh, this sticks with it. Again, the safety car issues are not as bad as they used to be. Um, last night, we had an issue with... Um, 
I can't remember what the issue was, but I asked somebody and there was some sort of an issue with it. But uh, I personally did not have any issues with anything on the 50% race. I did, like I mentioned, I did see some, I guess you'd say apparitions of people that were in the pit lane and they would pop over to the track really momentarily. Um, mm -hmm. But it wasn't where they were sitting there. And as a matter of fact, I don't even, it looked ghosted to me. So I don't think it would also be able to be hit. And we, well, we did have ghosting. So on, that, so. I mean, yeah, if ghosting is all in any car going, that's what I was going to ghost. And no, there's no ghosting in league races. Correct. Yeah. So that may, it may not be ghosted on this, obviously, but it was, it was momentarily like it barely showed up. So hopefully it wouldn't be enough to uh, produce a hit box. But again, like th those were some of our main issues that we were dealing with last time. Uh, and if those are fixed and the main issue now being kicked on loading of the game and we're able to get everybody in here. We've got 11 now. We've got uh, Lucas waiting on BKT. Where is Big Kahuna? He's in the VC. Okay, so maybe he's waiting to join as well or uh, I haven't heard him say anything. I'm not sure if maybe he... Uh... Give me one second. I'm going to hop over and ask him. Sure. So Sapo here is on his first hot lap. Uh, it looks like he's got uh, one of the Mercedes there in front of him. And it would be Lucas. So he's going to be the only person he's going to be dealing with there. Uh, looking pretty good there. Realized I didn't have the screen on. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So Sapo is on his hot lap. He is the first on his hot lap and I think focus is the one directly behind him uh, let's just check in with focus make sure there's no I'm glad I went in there he didn't know we had started the new session okay well that is good so he's still got plenty of time here to set a couple laps uh, for sure so good work good work I think he was the only one we're missing then yep he was the one driver from Aston at, outside of BKT if he joins okay yeah BKT should be able to make it in at some point so Sapo is approaching the last chicane and last couple of turns here, and he's got a slipstream on the Mercedes, and the Mercedes is about to start his hot lap, so it didn't move. Oh, oh and Sapo spins out. So that may have been a bit of dirty air. So right behind him, we've got Focus. It's Focus coming in on his... So this is the lap. end of his hot lap, yes. Okay. And everybody behind him should be on their hot lap as well, so... I think everybody that came out. So Sapo set a 137, focus 128.32. Um, now, if you remember from the first session that got, you know, kind of delayed, Cal mm -hmm. ran a 127, I believe. Yeah, he was in the 27 point. I think he was uh, mm -hmm. the mid 127. So 128.3 uh, will get you a good solid time. And actually, I don't have my data Ooh, up. Cal just went out in front of both of the Alfa, Alfa Romeos. Is that in the same spot? I actually uh, can't see where they are. out coming through cops. Oh, yep. Okay, I see. All right, so Serban, there's the 127.6. That does not shock me from Serban. When he races, he's quick all the time. 100%. So, yeah, just like last time, we see a few people trying for that medium, setting a fast time in the medium. I do think that's a a, 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 a fair bet. So I think that uh, maybe come out here and try for the medium, see if you can get a... a mid 127 or a high 127 maybe even a low 128 just to start off on those mediums Mike, now, i will say you. i don't know if it was a bug but beamer did show a purple sector one okay so let's go on these mediums yeah you never know with those sometimes it'll show everybody on a purple but that's that's why he was kind of hesitantly went i don't know but <laughs> i'll say it yep well we'll point it out i'll watch him so he's about to be through sector two 104.465. I'm not showing any data for that. I wish we could view like all the sector times of everybody so I could judge like where that's meant to be. Yes, give me all the data. I want all the data. Okay, so last corner. Let's see what Beamer sets. Oh, so 128.5. 125. Good for, for me. Good for is not bad. 
Yeah, I would say if you want to stick with the medium, you probably need a low 128 or high 127. Um, but it kind of depends on what the other times. He's got plenty of time left in this session, and it depends on what everyone else sets, I suppose. Cal can just not keep this car on the road today. Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. He has only set the... Oh, and he doesn't have... He's already uh, lost a wing, so he's he's lost a lot of time there. All right, so let's see. Who is on a hot lap here? It looks like VPJP starting his hot lap. Might be Lucas. Looks like he's going to be starting his. And it appears that Beamer may be on a hot lap. Rocco looks like he'll be joining us too. Okay, Beamer yeah. crashes out of the session, unfortunately. Oh, no. Coming through Magazine and Beckett's. Man. So that 128.5 on the medians is going to have to stand. Yeah, and that's. I don't think by the end of this session that's going to be. Uh, it's going to be pretty far down there. I mean, I, I suppose it gets to end up in ninth or tenth, but uh, that's going to be down there. That is unfortunate. Is that Denny? He is not on out. He's on a in lap. In lap. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. He's almost out of gas. Okay. Yeah. So the next driver, VPJB. No, yeah, almost he, out of gas. Well, yeah, okay, so I thought he had started it because he's right been using his ERS. Almost out of gas as well. He's calling an in-lap. Yeah. Wait, right next putting in time to qualifying. What happened? This is this is a new occurrence. <laughs> yeah, right, actually trying to... Uh, well, maybe he figures since there's less people, it might be worth it. That's, uh, that's smart. Lucas is the next driver across the line. There's a Sapo on his rear, though. Oh, he's on an outlap. Okay. There you go. okay. The, oh, the in-lap. Sapo is a flyer? Yep, definitely a flyer. Ooh, oh, oh, careful not to invalidate. A 128-1. To Ken, not improve. Two of these also are four laps old. It's going to be see. hard to improve. Yep, okay. So we should start seeing everybody's uh, pitting or on their in-lap. So i uh, got a bit of time before we do all our last laps here. Serban's on an outlap. Kahuna, outlap. I think everyone here is like a train of an outlap. Rocco has joined the session, took the Ferrari seat. Nope, oh, what was that? There is a bit of contact there. So Focus has lost his wing, and it looked like someone else hit the wing. Alright, so Serban the first one to start this round of, of hot laps. He is currently our pole sitter. Can he improve on this 127.6? I, I would be expecting him to. The Obviously, the track has evolved a little bit. Maybe got some uh, more rubber down. And he is... He missed that apex. That's going to cost him time. He I might know. just call the lap there. Let's see what he does. He's still he's still on the ERS. So I think nah, he, he's, he feels he's good still about pushing it. it. So yeah. Kale has uh, DNF from the session there. Kale just cannot seem to get the track. Yeah, I'm like, not sure. Uh, he might have been risking maybe a low downforce uh, setup here, which which can be very beneficial in certain places. But there are also uh, other places that are gonna. Mm -hmm. And oh, Serban yeah, did sure. back off of this lap, so. Yeah, which is Lucas. Smart. It's still, that's everybody's on an outlap. Rocco will be the next one to start his actual lap. Okay, Rocco. So that'll be who will watch here.
So I'm not sure if uh, while Rocco is just starting this, I don't know if we caught it on the actual race portion, but here are the Div 2 standings there. Racknex, Jazza, Verham, Bot, Gibbs, and Denny. Uh, the top five in the standings for Div 2. Uh, How today, does the Constructors look? So the Constructors, we've got Alfa Romeo with 100 points, really okay. commanding lead. But Mercedes is in second with 57, McLaren 54, Haas 51, Alpine 48, Red Bull 47, Ferrari 45. So all of the second through seventh are all very, within 12 points. Uh, so all could anything could happen today, especially with a smaller field and everyone getting mm -hmm. larger, you know, has a higher chance of getting points. Uh, anything could happen today. So it looks like coming down to the home stretch of our season here, I think we have like three more or four more races left. Uh, it's really a battle see. for a second. One, two, I believe, yeah, three after this, it looks like, uh, potentially. So I'm not sure. That is if they decide to dot, because I know there are talks and staff to add Imola at the end. Correct. So I think if we do that, I believe we're at three, unless anything else has changed since I last had my calendar updated. Here. Right, we still gotta, we got to go back to Canada, because that race was the most bugged race we've had all year. Yeah, that one was bad. All right, so Rocco's coming around on his hot lap, finally finishing this out. He's setting his first time on soft. See where he uh, comes out. He oh, had a strong man. sector one, but struggled through sector two, and it cost him the few tenths he need, the tenth he needed. One two seven point seven seven two. So yes, very close. Uh, every everyone in that top uh, top four is within. Uh, a tenth and a half there. So currently a Ferrari locking out the second row of the grid. Yep, which is good for them because uh, again, going back to those uh, standings, the Ferrari is down in seventh with forty-five. So they're in the the bottom portion of that uh, real tight race. But uh, if they can both get some good points this race, that would be amazing. I mean, seventh when seconds only in the fifties. I mean, yeah, they sure as they could jump one good race, jump Easily. up to the top of the constructors. Yep. Now it's going to take a miracle to catch the Alfa Romeos, but yeah, but can't it, say you, it's not out of it yet. Yeah, you never know though. They uh, anything could happen in Silverstone. So let's see who are we looking at. Don is Sapo on a hot lap negative. Uh, Rocco's looks like he's going for a second push lap. Never mind, he just invalidated it. Nope. So. Okay, so maybe we'll need Aston's maybe here. Yep. Or the Aston. Mm, nope. No, there's no way with 54 seconds at that point. No. No. This is an hot lap. Still no. 100 ass, not using any of it yet. Nope. So nobody's on a hot lap. At least not that I'm Lucas? seeing. Lucas? Maybe Denny? Nope. So it looks like Denny may have just started a hot lap, but he's really not using a whole lot of ERS, so. On a medium, so yes, yeah, so I think the only person that looks appears to be on a hot lap would be Denny RFX Denny. Can we talk about Denny running a one twenty seven seven on mediums? Uh, that's uh, that's that's the way to go right there. One twenty seven point seven. Uh, now he's out. Yeah, so he's. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's the that's the tire he's currently on. I see. That's not the tire he ran that lap on. I I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, it would be very hard, and if he did, uh, I would be quite That's impressed. That's why I was like, can we just have that conversation real quick? <laughs> no, I believe it's just showing uh, what tire he's currently on. Uh, I mean, I went to detail best, and it doesn't change his tire. Interesting. And he did he it. He just ran a 127.4 on the mediums. Okay, so maybe he did. Okay, so we could be wrong. So, yes, yeah, so 127.432 on the mediums. Uh that's amazing. He's going to have might. quite the advantage. He may lose a place or two. If he can fight and stay in first after that first lap and then go long, he's going to be in a great, great position to win this race. Sapo, the next one across the line on a hot lap. The 127.7 did not improve on that. I believe that was his time before. Uh, let's see who's behind. Oh, I'm sorry. He has not crossed the line. I see. So he is he's coming, the last coming up to the line as we speak. 120s, he almost improves off by under a tenth. Okay, so who is behind him? Looks like we've got Kahuna. Let's see if he's on the lap. No. Kahuna Lucas followed by Dig Dug. But Dig Dug's on an outlap. Lucas, outlap. Are they all outlaps? Uh, let's see. PKT spinning it out in sector one. 
Well, it is that time of quality. You know, you're almost under a minute left in quality, and everybody's trying to just be the last across the line to start a hot lap. So focus is on a hot lap back here. Let's check the VPJP is on a hot lap. So it looks as though VPJP is going to be the next across the line on a hot lap. Well, no, it still says out no, lap. He's, he's out just lap. using. Nope. He just forgot to turn off his ERS. Yeah. Yep. So focus is the next to officially cross the line. A affirmative. That's right. Some of the guys in this division, especially, are very new to even the F1 games, let alone league racing itself. They, a lot of them, some of them may not know. But Focus improves of a 127.5 good enough to give him to this, like the second position. Here we go. That's quick. I mean, mean, all these times in the top five so far are very close. If you can break the 128, it's an unbelievably quick time. Uh, uh, I agree. I cannot, I cannot break the 128. Honestly, don't know if I, I can either. <laughs> I haven't really practice much for tomorrow. You can say BKT just started his only flyer that he's going to be able to get here. Yep, I'm going to watch him around too, see what he can do. Yep. His BKT is pretty quick, so he has a chance to come out here on a and you know, obviously I don't know Dig Dog has 9 seconds to get to the line. Seven, five, four, three. Dig Dog just starts. He got it. He'll be the last one across. Beautiful. Wow. All right, BKT, what you got? So VPJP just set a new time, 128.186. Uh, so he did improve a few point places there to sixth. And let's see. It looks as though Rack next. He's on outlap. He didn't get to start his lap. Yep. Okay. So the Ferrari coming across his Sapo. Can he improve? 123, 4, 5. Going to be close. Nope. He seven 100. He improved. He oh, he did. Seven 100 improved. He but did not. There you go. <laughs> Rocco so DNF. Starting the second. From the second line there. BKT next across the line. His only flyer, it's uh, not it going to be that it's been that uh, quick. invalidated. It was a 129 anyway. He is going to be pretty much right back there anyway. Yep. All right, Dig Dug will be the last to cross the line on a flyer. Now, he is up 10 seconds on his lap, but his one actual lap is a 141. We all know that was not intended. Yep. All right, let's see. Up to the line. It's not going to be a 127, maybe a low 28. Low yeah. 128, going to put him in six on the grid. There we go. So that's a good spot. Good spot on mediums as well. Good place to be. Uh, can we talk about Denny getting pole position on the mediums? Honestly, it's insane. I, I know that they're the, the mediums is not uh, much slower than the softs on this track comparatively, I'm saying, comparatively to some other tracks. Some other tracks, there's a huge difference, but still pole position with a medium tire it really honestly is is very impressive um so there is our grid everyone uh, i believe we only have 14 uh that's right so denny focus mm -hmm. that game on the first row sapo not serving on the second rocco dig dug third row vpjp uh and beamer on the fourth row and then so on and so forth there so um, weirdly enough, the Alfa Romeos are a little bit lower than I think they'd like to be to try to hold this uh, championship lead. But uh, let's see. One of them is on the mediums and one of them is on the soft. So maybe a split um, strategy here, which which can, can pay off. Now, the guys who's starting outside of the top 10, do they go to mediums or do they stay on the soft? Yeah, I, I would start on the mediums uh, just because I think it's going to be beneficial. But uh, we'll see what they do. Maybe they'd rather jump some spots right off the start and hope, now, for, I hope for a safety car. Cal. I expect Cal to start on the sauce. Yeah. Because Cal kind of likes to just go for it. Yeah. From what I've learned, seeing him drive. And expect him to make up some positions on the first lap. If he can keep the car under control, because he 
qualifying was struggling. Yep. So I'm not sure if uh, maybe he learned a little bit just pushing the car too far on uh, quality and in the race will be a little bit uh, easier on it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right. So race starting or the formation lap will be starting here. In just a few seconds. Okay, I am stuck in uh, TV pod view. Are you really? Yes. Let me honest with you. I thought the race started there for a second because <laughs> the, the focus took the lead off the start. I was like, I'm out. Did I just not commentate the start of the race? Yeah, well, they don't. Uh, I don't think they. Yeah, they don't penalize anybody for, for jumping those positions. Oh. And actually, focus just jumped back. So that may be some. That was, a lag, that was a lag spike. 100%. Yeah. I've seen that before. So my broadcast is, did finally change my view there. So we're good. That is, I think, focus is internet. I don't think it's anything to do with the lobby. Right. <laughs> Which I've even done that myself. It's cost me positions in races online. Just one little lag spike. Yep. Looks like the predicted pitch strategies are soft to mediums or soft to hards for the guys in the top 10. Interesting. Yeah, I would, I would anticipate the soft to mediums there. Uh, so I tried last night. I took lap one damage uh, due to the uh, start incident, and I put mm -hmm. on the hards because I didn't have any data on the tire, so I thought I was going to play it safe with the hards. And they lasted to the end of the race and beyond, and there were some others that had similar damage on the first and they went to mediums and they lasted to the end so um it seems to me that you can actually push the mediums especially with a safety car to go ahead and pit later on the hards mm -hmm. just does not seem like unless you're anticipating no more safety cars the hards it's it's just too slow but we'll see how this works out everybody's always got a different plan All right, so let's see. They're all pulling up to the line here. Five red lights, and we are the suspension. Okay. Away with round seven of of Chance Racing League Division 2 Silverstone Grand Prix. Headed down to the line. Willow Williams has the lead to the line. They're two wide in behind. Looks like Denny did get the start. Folks that came down a little less far. Sapo gonna jump in into the, going up into P2 off the start of the race. Red Bull and Alphatari wheel to wheel through the first few corners. As we continue around the circuit. So Sapo got the jump on focus and has uh chasing down the the, the Williams there. Of Rocco Denny. out of the race already. Okay, so Rocco, I believe I saw was the one that spun out there. Uh, what is that on the uh, fourth or fifth turn there? Waco unfortunately wrecked out of his other race to be into this one, and that just did not not a good day for him. Through cops, never mind. They straight and they decided to go single wide. They did not want to risk it. Through cops, heading the maggots and Beckett for the first time. Denny gonna bring him on through. It looks like Kale did spin back there. Kale is just not liking this track. No. Is Denny's going to bring him down into the sector three for the first time. Red, the Red Bull of Serbit upside the inside of Jazz. Actually, that's, that's Beamer. And he gets passed. Yep, the softs are just a little bit better than the teams right now. Beamer, Beamer's going to look up the inside and nothing there. Going to give it to him. So from what I'm seeing here, Serbin did lose a place on the spot, so he's trying to fight back up to his starting position. Serbin's going to spin it out in sector one. That is unfortunate. So my view is not showing it correctly. So he's got to reset to the track there. Not reset, but uh, get back on the track safely. And it uh, seems as though he's having some issues. Kale is already pit. Looks like he may have some damage already. 
Uh, he spun out in the set. The Red, the Red Bull team will not be happy after this race. No, definitely not. That's not a good start. Anything could change. We've still got, uh, what, 24 and a half laps to go, but yeah, that's not a good start. So currently, Beamer, Dig Dug, Jazza, Lucas, BKT, and Kahuna, and Sako all go up positions. Serpent, unfortunately, with a spin down eight and focus down one position. After the first lap, Denny is going to... Looks like Denny and Sapo have kind of driven away from the field just a little bit as the rest of them seem to be in a train. Yeah, there's a, all there's the way a bit back of a gap to, there. Mm -hmm. BKT looking maybe up the inside of of Lucas here. And not not going to go for it. Everyone currently just kind of driving around in a train. No one wants to make any... Like real, yeah, are we are we early. currently on a safety car? And we're just not seeing it, or no? Like, they're just driving in a train right now. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we see. Uh, they're still flat out. Yes. Okay. Is they're still setting fastest lap? So that's that would yep. be true. They're still full throttle. Sapo's trying to chase down Denny. He's gonna probably need to wait for DRS to really get there. He's gonna stay so within go. that so second. First DRS zone here. Got a bit of slipstream. Has a good amount he's of gonna, ERS. He's going to look at the inside. Not this time by. Yeah, but it may Smart be. Move. It's Let's see what cops. See what they do there. All right. So we are looking at a couple battles here. Obviously, this battle for first. And then the battle for third is a pretty pretty good battle. Yeah, that's, that whole DRS train focus needs to just keep his head down and be aware. Because he could easily get gobbled up by two or three of them if he's not careful. Yep. Now that the DRS is on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sapo through Maggots and Beckett's for the third time. He's got to stay within, I would say, four tenths or so to even to get the run. But he's going to fall back to just about six tenths. He's going to activate the DRS. Like I said, I think you need to be within four tenths to really get the run. There we go. Go. Just going to Couldn't Denny's quite make it the outside. yet. Wheel, wheel Denny's going to shut, shut it off and defend the move. Good defensive driving there by Denny. Yeah, that was nice great. Nice attempt by Sapo. Really clean driving, too. As they come down into T1, the next DRS zone, he that battle did cost him a tenth or two. He's okay. I might I was a little bit wrong. And that DRS zone it looks like five tenths is close enough. But this next one, you definitely need to be within three tenths. I'd say. Yep. Because it's a much quicker DRS straight. DRS is open. Will he get to look at it? No, nah, he's just not going to get close enough. But it's going to keep him right on the rear bumper of Denny. That dirty air is just keeping him back. He can't get too close. Both the Alfred Towers looking to get this McLaren out of their way so they can have, have look their way towards the leaders. Yeah, and they, they're sitting at the back of that because the, the McLaren is still is he gonna holding everybody back. Cops? Nope. Yeah, with a three-second penalty. Actually, both the Red Bulls are uh, sitting on penalties now. Three maggots and buckets. Uh, Here we go. I'm going to look at this. So I'm looking at this Dig Duck Focus fight. Yeah, he's a little bit further back, but yes, so... Two tenths, he's going to get up the inside. There we go. Oh, defensive. Squeezing him, make... squeezing him, squeezing him. Oh. And he gets past Clint. The move is done. Can Beamer get through, too? Nope, the line was the old oh, they He's going off track. They, they, they touched. They touched. Oh, come on, camera angle. Give me a good angle. The camera's messing with me here. Oh, too wide to at the final corner. Wheel to wheel. B Dig Dog is going to hold it. Focus is going to have to surrender wow. the position. Be that and was a battle. Spectators through this whole thing. Now, Focus is on those soft tires, so he's going to be all over Dig Dug's bumper this entire way through. Beamer MG going to get a three-second time penalty there. I would assume that's following in the dirty air, just getting loose out of corners. Sure. Focus going to bid his time. He knows the straight where he's going to make his move. So on board here with Beamer as well, because I think Beamer looks like he wants to take advantage of this fight between them two. If Beamer can put a buffer between him and Dig Dog, it's, it's best. It's probably for the best. 
He's gonna take a look through cops, but he's gonna have to lift through there. Jadson's kinda losing pace with this three-man group, but these three are going at each other. Right, Beamer is go. gonna get it. Will Focus make the run? Focus is gonna get the run here. Dig Dug's gonna, gonna hold the around. inside tight. Will Dig Dug squeeze in? Nope. Nope, the move's gonna be done. I feel like it is this will be a consistent swapping of positions throughout this race. But Focus needs to make use of these soft tires. And the Alvatari's uh kinda coming together there a little bit. Sapo with the fastest lap. Dig Dug and Beamer need to just relax, stay in line, and just focus on focus. Well, it's it's kind of interesting where they're at because if hopefully they are communicating because they're both on the medium to soft strategy, very close in the same battle for the same position. So they've got to coordinate their pit stop here. Both of them lost out a little bit of. Uh, both of them in. just spun their wheels there, yeah, yeah, like synchronized. But it did not hurt. Dig Dug, Dig Dug is still right on Focus's bumper. Now, Beamer has got to try to stay within this second here. But I will say that Dirty Air is going to probably back Dig Dug right up into him. He is close enough to still maintain the draft. Yes. That just brings Jazza and VPJP pretty much just going to follow Beamer straight back up to the bumpers. Ooh, one runs a little wide. Meanwhile, the battle for the lead is just kind of... I don't think uh, Denny wants to race Sapo because he knows he's on an alternate strategy. Correct. And I, I think that's probably smart. Stay. I mean, I'd almost even back up a little bit just to stay out of the dirty air to tear up those tires. I'd stay just in the slipstream about a second second or mm -hmm. so behind. But the DRS obviously helps. Uh, but I, I don't do think point he wants out, to let him get away. Yeah, he and just that's, wants to stay in the DRS. That's fair. So BKT has climbed six positions, and he was one that started on the medium tires. So BKT is also having a really good race. That's someone to watch there. He's up yes. to eighth. He's working. He's working on VPJP too, which if you guys do remember that is the the constructors leaders right there on the Alfa Romeos. Right. Yep, so still right got next year, championship third. leader is falling off kind of the end of the field here. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, he's only a second off. That may be on purpose of saving the tires. Sure. Yeah, if you can make those mediums actually last and keep uh, keep up pace, then that, that'll put you in a good position for sure. And we're back to the same battle. These three cars just cannot lose touch. Jazz is just a spectator to this at this point. Yeah, and he's on those softs. Uh, he's probably in a in a nice position, at least on the track wise, just because of uh, trying to stay out of that dirty air. He's probably trying to conserve those tires. As they continue through maggots and Beckett's, will Dig Dug try to make the run? He's three tenths off. He's going to get a decent run out of it. He, I think, he can get the look here if he wants it. Actually, no, those. So he's staying. Yeah, he. I he's think he conservative. Hasn't... I don't think he's. I think he's conserving. He's. he's they're going to switch places. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me too. Uh, that looked designed. That looked too designed. A hundred percent. It's a little bit of team orders coming in here. Beamer, go get him. See if you can drive away from him. Yeah, and that may be setting up for the uh, pit stops later on. Again, it, it's going to be. It's going to have to take some coordination for them to pit correctly. Let's watch from uh, Dig Dug's point of view here on this DRS zone with Beamer and Focus. Not serving. Not serving. Serving. Up. Not Beamer quite. Beamer around the outside. Oh, switch back. Oh, I was on the outside of him. A little bit of touch they there. Touched. Yeah, that that uh, that set Beamer off his front end just a little bit. Cal gonna get another three second mini. Is he gonna look to the outside of cops or touched again? through cops do they come together no they're gonna leave each other's room lewis and max you should learn from this <laughs> is beamer's go. gonna so beamer get gets the fully job around. done through yeah, cops we're gonna be beamer. looking at the next drs zone here well, beamer used all his ers so we go. The, it's blinking so dig dug has saved his ers for this moment right here and he's gonna try to get around focus oh focus cut him off they're, 
Beamer's going to lose two positions there. Yeah, I think the plan might have been for uh, Beamer to block off uh, Focus there. And I think Focus got into a position where he made the decision and really kind of cut off Dig Dug there. A little bit of contact didn't, uh, didn't result in a crash or anything, but uh, still was, was pretty risky. Jazz is diving into the pits already. I, he might have just wanted to get out of that dirty air. Sure. But on the mediums, go to the end. Yeah, they. Uh, if if I'm correct, again, I don't have all the data on this, so I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure the mediums can last to the end here comfortably. Mm -hmm. Which, as we were watching that battle, Denny did take the lead from Sapo. Wow, how did we miss that? There was a very, very interesting fight happening, to be fair. But Denny on his medium tires might just drive away from this race. If he can keep it clean. Denny is one of those drivers who has had a lot of bad luck this year, but he's been quick consistently. I just agree. getting caught up in some wrecks that he probably shouldn't have been. Yep. A couple of small mistakes that affect the entire race, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. So we're coming up on the back markers here as well uh, in, a, in a few laps. So that's going to be interesting to see how these front two and then even getting back into that fight for third, how they they uh, go through Kale as the back marker. And Sapo, was that Sapo diving in the pit? So Sapo, yeah, Sapo. is going to switch to the mediums now. Interesting. It's around, the, it's around the end of the life of the softs. Like the primary life. So like, what we're going to be Sapo looking at is, is when focus pits there. Yes, that is going to be a huge one because he's the last of the front run and soft tire drivers. Correct. Now we'll see if the undercut is strong or the overcut. Yes, this will be interesting to me because I, I actually have no clue how this is going to work out because they were they were close enough where if the uh, the undercut is a second or the overcut is a second quicker, it's going to make the difference. Big so Doug running behind Focus has managed to save his battery to ninety five percent. Yeah, he's he's really managed it. I noticed that when when they were going to do that move there, uh, where he was going to try to jump him, he had he had eighty five ninety percent ERS. He's been he's being very conservative with it, and he's still able to keep up mm -hmm. on the medium tires as well, which is uh, quite impressive. Now, Kahuna and Cal put on the hards, so probably just try to go to the end or just go to a safety car. Yeah, Kahuna, I, I think he, he probably felt forced to because it was it was the first lap. Uh, Kale went a few laps before he did his, and Focus does dive into the pit, so we'll be watching where he comes out. Uh, let's see if we can look at interval from the leader. Um, yeah, it's going to be close. I mean Sapo's gonna beat him up, but let's see if Sapo gains. He was about three. He was about four seconds up the road when Sapo pit it. I mean, Sapo was four seconds ahead of Focus when he when Sapo drove it in. Okay, so then but, yeah, then that's. Let's see here. He, there's the. Uh, he's already. He's yeah. just now stopping. It's gonna be the overcut. He's going to be way more than four seconds. He's going to be about 10 seconds down the road. Oh, and Sapo picks up a three second. three second. Wow. Actually, no. Yeah, it's, He's about the same. It, it's it's not, not a much. little closer. Yeah, so it, it appears like the overcut did uh, get him just a bit, but not much. Interesting. You're battling for, battle for 10, so like, like the two alphas, two, uh, the two alpha towers were with the, with the, with the McLaren, though, that main the world yep but bkt gonna work on beamer here bkt's up a lot of positions since the start of this race yeah he is he's he i think he gets him here on this straight beamer is struggling once again on the rs yep so bkt does get around easily at that <laughs> next in line for him to get to is dig dug dig dug is gonna have lap traffic in his way So that's Dig Dug uh, 
Working through the back markers there. And Might Denny. be Lucas speeding into pit lane. Oof. Beamer's not losing trucks. Do losing track of BKT though. Let's see, it's gonna be close. Going up the inside. Ooh, they touch. Yeah, they did. No damage. It looks like though everything's good. A little touch. No, no harm, no foul. Will the will. So Kale gets a five Kyle second penalty. Five ignoring seconds for the blue. ignoring. Wow. Yeah, he's fighting. He was fighting uh, Dig Dug. Oop. There we go. Yeah, BKT still sticking right on Beamer going through this section. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the TV pod through the second DRS zone here. He was actually much closer than Beamer, so he's going to pull away just a little bit cleaner than Beamer's uh, pass on him. Yep, so this fight between uh, Beamer and BKT is the one that is uh, pretty good because they're they're on the same medium tire strategy here as well, yes. medium to soft. So this is four track position. So really, BKT has had a great start to this race. I'm most curious of when these soft, when they come in for their softs, where they circle back out with the guys who were on soft to start the race. Yeah, so let's take a look. Actually, let's look at the interval. So if we're looking... The difference currently right now, even from Racknex to Sapo, is 20 seconds. Now, I don't remember exactly how long the pit stop is here, but the, the pit stop here is a little bit of a longer, but it also skips that uh, chicane. So if it's looking at 22, 23 seconds, uh, it does look as though this medium to soft is, is much quicker. Focus, I am going to make the pass on Sapo. For the lead of the the soft tire starters. Correct. Yeah, they're they're on the same strategy. They are fighting on track. That's correct. Which essentially, if you math that out, Sapa was in P two when he pit it. That might have been for P two when they come back out of pits. I believe so. It's typically, the soft the medium gets the advantage, and but the soft tires at the end of the race are usually just stronger. Yep. So and they once can just they drive right back on them. Correct. So they'll come out of the pits, and it should be. They should have advantage at that point, but then as long as those medium to soft are close enough, they will be able to come back and, and have a strong yes. finish. The only driver that will come back out in their current position, in my opinion, will be Denny. Right. All right. Yeah, he's I'm, really I'm, pulled I'm, away. I have to see if Cal gets out the way. Let's see. Who's he is, fighting with here? The, the leaders. I see. Yep. He's got uh, BKT and uh, Beamer right behind him. Pull out the way, Cal. Come on. He's not gonna. Nah, but it's uh, if they're close enough after, what is it, three blue flags, it'll be another penalty for him, unfortunately. Yep. So there we go. Five second penalty ignoring blue flag. So another one. Um, so let's look at his uh, penalties so far. 28 That's seconds it. worth of penalties, so he's going to be being close to being disqualified from this race. 20 seconds and 14 laps? Yeah. Bro, just pull out the way. Yeah, he's, he's, he's actively fighting with them. He just calls Beamer so much time. He did. But BKT going to dive it in early. Oh, I missed it. Yep, so BKT is in the pits. Lap 13. I'm sorry, lap 15. So 13 lap old uh, mediums. Cal, like another Northern. five seconds. So I'm not sure how long it takes for him to get uh, disqualified from this race, but uh, that's that's unsportsmanlike conduct. I mean, if we're putting in uh, football terms here, American football terms. <sighs> Yeah, and he's costing a lot of time for Beamer right now. 
because he's hold, he's actually that. holding him up. I mean, that um, even looked like he took that corner even slower than he normally would. I'm gonna bite my tongue because we're commentating. Yeah, and he's actively slowing down. Um, this is this is ridiculous. It, it's week in, week out with this guy. I'm sorry to say it, like. Honestly, um, this is ridiculous. I, I wish that there was a way that I could kick him out right now because this is this, this is not this how is, you drive. This is. Mm. I feel like it's week in, week out with report after report from this guy. Yeah. And he, you can't tell me you don't know. He doesn't know what he's doing. No, he knows what he's doing. Beamer's gonna dive in, and I feel like just to get the hell away from him. Yeah. <laughs> That, and he, well, couldn't, I mean, I he couldn't have anticipated that that was going to happen, and I think he lost a lap if he would have dove in the the lap before. But Beamer probably should have come out of these pits right behind Focus, but I feel like he's going to be behind BPJP now. So Denny and Sapo are hugely far apart here. They're they're much further apart than I thought they were going to be. And Kale with another three second penalty. So yeah, will you look at that? Denny is is just so far ahead of the group that he's what is that, seven seconds ahead of focus. And Sapo I, I'm not sure exactly what happened with Sapo there. I think we missed something. I'd like to hear about what happened later on, but he's he's lost a lot of time and he's in the pits again. Is that his second pit? Yes. Yeah. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Dig Dug, the last of the mediums are diving in, diving it in right now. Let's see where he cycles back out with the Denny. Yep, so this should be the last pit stop for... So it says Kahuna. So Kahuna started on the hearts. So I was mistaken on that. Kahuna started on the hearts. So he's still got a pit. So he's he's trying to go no, as long as he can. No, he pit on lap two. He's only 15 lap old hearts. He pit at lap two. Well, it's not showing. It's not showing. For some reason, it's not showing that he has a stop. But I'm not sure exactly. That could be an issue on our end, though. So there we go. Dig Dug is going to come out fifth or sixth there no fifth he's going to be fighting on the exit nope so he comes out third wow so dig dug just uh, i'm sorry dig dug did just uh make a really smart decision on him when he when he pitted there and beamer's way back there he lost a lot of time from kale yeah beamer would see should have been right behind a bkt coming out instead look yep so that affected his entire race. Um, I wonder if he got wing damage from when they touched him to cops. It's potential. Yep, that could be correct. Because that looks like a wing damage time, like the repair. Which is still, again, still due to due to kill. Oh yeah. yeah. And look at where Denny is. Look how far ahead he is. He's actually uh, almost sitting in a spot where he can just baby those soft tires right now. Denny up 10 seconds, focus, sitting in P2. Dig Dug will eventually run him down. Yeah, and Cal only... finally gets disqualified from the race. There we go. So, yeah, the only battle I'm seeing on track would be Dig Dug working on focus and uh, Jazza working on rack next. Those are going to be the two battles we're watching there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say give Dig Dug six laps and he's on him. Yep. Those, those sauce are going to... Zero lap old, according to mine. That's not true. So Jazz has got a three-second penalty. Beamer with a six-second yes. penalty. Serbin, three. Lucas, 11. And Sapo sitting with a three-second penalty all the way back in the last. So uh, definitely had some sort of contact or uh, issue that we uh, unfortunately missed.
Yeah, so Dig Dug is is definitely in striking distance here. So Maybe we'll a see. Than I thought. <laughs> we'll see what he what he decides to do though. Uh, depends on should is he going to sit behind him and kind of settle in or because he's on no, the softs, he could get around and just pull away. Yeah, that's that's what he needs to do. He needs to take advantage while his softs are still in their like their their strength there we and go. just pull away because eventually it's going to switch back to the mediums with how early the medium drivers did come into the into the pit lane. So he's Will right he on the inside. Last of the late breakers, he's going to have the inside line, but it's going to get back to the outside switch yeah, back. Some, some really clean racing there. Oh, he's up. He's up the inside. Nope, he's going to get the door shut on him. Good driving there by Focus. Yeah, that was, that was some now, clean. BKT clean is just sitting here biding his time. Beamer is going to make the pass on Jazza. Jazza is going to spot the Beamer and Serban. Never yep. mind, he's going to get Serban back. And Jazza, does Jazza is in the pit. pits. Yep. I wonder what happened to him there. It's front wing? No, he's just two stopping. Interesting. Well, I don't know that that's going to pay off for him, unfortunately. All right, so yeah. Dig Dug is again working around on the outside of and Focus. Oh, Focus going to send it back up the inside. But Dig doesn't have the, the preferred line going through the swooping right hander. Yeah, Dig Dug really has to get around here. There He's going to go. squeeze him out. Going to head to cost BKT almost loses it in the background. Yeah, and BKT is working on Focus as well because, uh, let's see, they're both on those soft, medium and soft. As they head through cops, but it looks like Focus is struggling for grip. You see him swinging the car around, maybe trying to get some temperature in the tires. Coming down that straight, he just kind of swung it left to right. Yeah, they're, they're seven lap the old uh, mediums. They shouldn't be too bad. So he's going to go try. To oh, he's, he's, he said he wants the inside lane. Wow. That was a, that was a good pass, though. BKT. And Ooh, he's going to switch, hit him with a switch back. Beautiful move back to the outside. He's going to have to prefer line to the final corner. As long as he can hold it, at least hop the quarter panel. Yep, he's going to get it back. They're still, he's still there, though. Wait, he's, did he have it completed? No, they're going to touch. But they're fine. But it is going to yeah. cost Dig Dug the position. Yeah, it, it cost Dig Dug there. Looked like they just, uh, neither of them were trying to hit each other, but both mm -hmm. not wanting to give up the position. And, and in Dig the, Dug gets around. A little farther down the field, Beamer is working on Ratnik. He's trying to work his way back okay, through the so field. I, it looks as what though. What just happened? Well, it looks like Focus is losing his uh, grip, and he took a really bad line for that. Uh, so kind okay. of dug into Dig Dug. I, I would say that's on him. And then Dig Dug comes back and gives him a nice little tap. Let him know that's not cool, man. I told you it looked like those mediums are not holding up well for Focus. Yeah. So BKT, of course, takes advantage of the situation, gets around clearly in a second, actually pulls uh, over a second ahead of of uh, Focus and Dig Dug. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a pretty significant incident. So Beamer Focus. is back here working on uh, uh, Rack next and pulls around him. He's going to get around, get him going in, going into Cops. Had it through Maggots and Beckett's is... Rack next is going to look up the inside through Maggots and Beckett's too wide. But Dig Dug, uh, Beamer is going to close the door on him. Beamer is the Div Division 1, one of Division 1 drivers for Alfred Tauri. Now, Ratnex is your championship leader, so Ratnex needs to be careful to preserve at least take some points from this race. Yep. And meanwhile, Jazza, his championship rival, is out of the points right now. Yeah. I two think seconds behind Sapo. The two-stop is, is not going to work. Uh, I, yeah, I it's, wonder why it's he chose not, a two-stop. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was uh, damage or not. I didn't see anything, but... He didn't re repair as I watched the pit stop. No repairs? Okay. Oh, I was curious. Now, I don't think BKT can get to Denny, but BKT is going to drive a clean race, and he'll be looking at a podium position. Now, the race is for third. Focus, Dig Dug, VP, VP, JP, and maybe Beamer if these guys fight hard enough. Because... Right now, Dig Dug, Focus, and VPJP, they are racing on track position. No penalties between the three. Correct. So I do want to take a look at what the penalties. So BKT has a three-second penalty. So uh, that will come into play here if Focus, Dig Dug, or VPJP do not get any penalties. Because if they get within three seconds of him, uh, mm -hmm. they could take that uh, spot from him. They come through the, the DRS zone one more time. 
VPJP looking like he almost wanted to make a move there, but he backed off of it. Yeah, maybe so by just his time. his time, yep. Sit back there, save ERS, which Dig Dug was very good at saving ERS early in the race. Is the lowest I think I've seen him all race at 44%. Yeah, so he's he's really fighting here, and that would be you know compared to his other driving, mm -hmm. he really is fighting for this. He wants that podium. Yep. Right next is gonna get back around Beamer, but Beamer gonna look around the outside. A servant's just watching this fight happen, but he's gonna they're gonna fall back in single file. <laughs> Go back to them. Yes, yeah, so this is a nice little battle back here as well. And Beamer, of course, just six. trying to make his points trying to get his uh, places back up from yes from the really uh, crappy driving by Kale. Yeah. Not Serban is like, it looks like he's antsy that wants to get through here. We know he's quick. Yeah, he does. He wants to get around. He's just trying to choose the right time. Unfortunately, he's stuck in a DRS train and it's hard to pass when you're the third guy in the train. You just got to wait for somebody to make a mistake in front of you. Yep. Yeah, which is actually how BKT got to his position. Uh, he waited he behind mistakes. both of them, and they came together, and he was able to take advantage of it. Probably really mm -hmm. smart on his position. All right, so uh, looking at BKJP. Oh, man, they're close Serving. back there, too. Ooh, Two really great Serving. fights. Three wide, maybe? Oh, Servant was looking to make it three wide. There's just no room. So we're going to go up the inside. No, he's going to back out of it. He thought better of it. Smart move. It's kept his you know, car intact. What a battle. This battle for third and battle for six is, uh, you can see both groups. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a beautiful fight. So Dig Dug almost got around uh, focus on that last portion. What just happened to right next? Uh-oh. I don't know. His car just exploded. No. I don't know what hit him. Safety car is out. Are we going to end under safety car? Wow. Um... Or we're going to have a one-lap shootout. It's going to be close, but I would anticipate... Uh, let's see. Everybody's pretty spaced out. Yeah, it may end under safety car, but I, or it may... No, it's going to be one lap. Now, that's lap 23. I think they're just going to go one lap. That's not... Denny is not happy about this. No, that that's not good. BKT right on his tail. Do they pit? Denny has time to pit. I think Denny should pit. Yeah. Interesting. What I want to see that I want to see. I hope Rat Max is streaming himself. I need to see what he hit. Okay. So it looked like he just burst it. So it sounds like Kale's car, who was disqualified, was sitting on the track. What? And for for Rat Next's view, uh, due to some sort of a desync issue there, uh, Kale was sitting on the track, and so Rat Next just hit that out of nowhere, ruining his race, and no one to blame other than Codemasters. Ruin of what was going to be an exciting ending for two spots. Yep. Oh, I'm so sad we didn't get that ending. Codemasters, please, or EA, whoever the, whoever the fault is, please. Good God, please fix it. Alright, so Denny and BKT both drop into the pits. Uh, I think Denny's that's smart. Old. Focus Let's chose see. not the pit. Volk is going to choose the track position, hoping it ends on, under safety car. On we just focus beat him out. Yeah, if it, if that does happen, if they end under safety car, focus made the right choice to get ahead of BKT there. But if it does not, um, that sucks. That's that really is unfortunate. So Kahuna, you need to just go get around the safety car. I don't think it but, allows you to get around it from yes, where I've... I mean, Kuna, Kuna was ahead, so he's going to get his lap back. There we go. Yep. So he did get around it. There we go. He's unlapped. So... But will he be able to catch the safety car in time? I doubt it. Yeah. Because <laughs> the... Actually, I think the safety car might launch this lap. That would be great. I would prefer that as a fan. Uh, if I was BKT, I'd prefer it. If I was Denny or Focus, I would say, let's just, let's just end here. So he's focuses on those old mediums. He's he's gonna have trouble fighting uh, uh -huh. Beamer, BKT, any of those guys off for one lap. So I need to ask to point something out here. So what we just saw was desync for one guy's point of view. Uh, if it, now I was not focused on uh, Rat I was watching it. His watching. car was out there. Like I said, he just burst it. 
Correct. So that's what it sounds like to me. I don't know if anyone out there is also watching from someone else's view. If anyone else is uh, DNF'd Rocco or Kale and is watching, happen to be watching a view that saw that, I'd like to hear that from them. But uh, it sounds as though one person saw one other car. Very. That's odd. a that's a new one. That's yeah. a brand new bug. Usually take the car in this lap. Take the car in this lap. So we'll have two Denny, laps. Denny, who has dominated this entire race, it comes down to this. So he's in a good yep. position, obviously, uh, here to fight but off Focus. Old mediums. So focus I think on old tires. we're going to see what happens. I think Focus might have uh, made the wrong gamble here. But you know what? Those mediums, 12 laps is still not uh, bad for those things. But Beamer also gambled to try to go for a podium. So it's Serban. It's yeah. going to be how far can beat BKT, VPJP, and Sapa. And those two guys get through the, those four. There's three drivers. Correct. His BKT was in P2. He gambled on the pit stop, and they are away. Denny's going to get a great launch. Focus is going to get a little bit of launch. They're going to be side by side. Beamer and Serban into P1. Serban is going to get. Oh my God. Beamer just got the worst launch. Going to already fall back two positions. Serban up in the podium positions. BKT, BKT up already up in the fourth. He's going to be working on Serban here, but Serban, we know, is fast and can, can he defend, though, against these press offs? Denny, once again, is just going to pull away on those fresh soft tires. Glad to see he didn't get his race win caught for him. But Haas is going to look up the inside of the Red Bulls. He's going to make it done. One more driver left to beat to get his position back. Can he get around focus? So the fresh softs are really working out. BPJP cannot. What happened to Beamer there? He lost his front wing. Ah, so there was contact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Dig Dug is uh, going to have to make up some position as well to try to make up some time. So Sapo uh, benefited from that as well, if you'll notice. He's all the way up in a six now. Yep. So let's see. Jazz he has a slipstream here. Ooh, he's going to look around the outside. Not going to quite get him. Going to head into the DRS zone, but there's going to be no DRS for the rest of the race. He's practically pushing him down the straightaway. Going to look around the outside. Going to maybe hit to go for the switch back. Nice here. He's gonna move. Get the switch back. Beautiful. That was very smooth and clean. Gonna allow Serban to get up the inside of Focus. Beautiful. Serban's gonna Focus gonna get caught two spots there due to that. What a move by BKT gonna also benefit Serban here. Yep. The Red Bull loving just bidding his time and taking the opportunity when it comes through. Now, dig out the time penalties. How do they come into effect? What does BKT have? All right, so what we're looking at is uh, both BKT and Serban have three seconds worth of penalties. And let's look at the interval off of the leader. So BKT will be looking at losing position all the way down to at least fifth. Uh, if, if he, can if he cannot pull lap, away. Though, he needs to. He has to pull away. Now, he has fresh softs. It's the last lap. Uh, he has to make the rest of this race almost perfect to retain that position. Isn't so there he up we go. Two seconds. So he is now up. He's up two seconds on focus. I think he's got the time on focus. I think he'll keep his P2. It's Serban that's the worry here. But they are like follow They are three wide behind focus here. Sapo's going to get around him as well. Focus is going to get gobbled up on the field as they come through Maggots and Beckett's. The focus is going to hold up the field. Oh, Lucas so, and the Ferrari and Lucas the and Sapo. The clutch and right coming into the Maggots and Beckett's. That is unfortunate. Dig Dug going to be the beneficiary of that one. Him and VPJP are going to be promoted at like three positions. Jazz is going to... I mean, will he get his teammate here? Because his teammate... Actually, he, yeah, he has him on penalties. He doesn't need to even try to risk it. Follow so this through. is going to be really close for Serban retaining uh, third. Nah, Serban Serban's going to lose third, I think. Barely. Nope. And he retained no, it by two tenths. Barely. What a finish. What a Wow. Last lap. wow, so the race winner there, Denny, absolutely dominant. dominant. The race. Absolutely dominant. Um, BKT finishes second. Obviously, the pit was uh, the way to go there. Serban and Focus took the, uh, the risk, and it just did not pay off. Although, Serban got around Focus, so... What a race. That was a great race. Uh, I, I I, think I feel the worst uh, for Beamer there just because he got held up the most by Kale. Um, and then takes damage, gets a blessing of a restart, and then damage on the restart. Yeah, uh, it really is unfortunate.
So drive of the day, BKT, I agree with that 100%. Good job, game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's our podium, folks. Uh, not sure exactly how that affects the standings. We'll have to run the numbers a little bit later because some of these are reserves and some of these are that'll uh, affect the constructors. All, I think everyone on this podium is a reserve. Yeah. But we'll have to take a look at where Rack next ended, where Jazza ended. Um, I'll tell you, no Rack next DNF, so Jazza did earn some points on him. So, yeah. Interesting. So let's uh, let's go ahead. All right, let me You're get this going. But yes, three. so Dinny, BKT, and Not Serpent. We'll go ahead and take a have a podium chat with them. But let me get some. Fastest lap goes to Denny as well. Yeah, that's that's going to be some some good points for Williams as a pole position lead and fastest lap. Those are some solid points for the weekend. Absolutely. It's good to see Denny have a good race because he has had some struggled races. Hmm. Let's see results. So I hope that I grabbed enough data there. Let's go ahead and go to here, post race. All right, so let's see if we can get uh, some podium interviews here going. Let's go ahead and switch over to the live voice channel. I'll meet you over there. Hello. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. Hey, no, you are. You are the first one in here. So, um, quite quite a race there. You you were one that took the risk on not pitting on that last uh, that last safety car there, and it did seem to benefit you there. Um, how quick did it take? How how, uh, how fast did you make that decision? Was it immediately, or did you have to think about it? Um. Well, I thought because I was like P six or P seven. I have to take a risk if I want to get a podium. Uh, wouldn't have lost much if it wouldn't have worked out anyway. So risk, uh, risk versus thought, reward. Yeah, I thought I I could defend for the last few laps, and yeah, it paid off. Yeah, it really did. Um, I, I was impressed with it. I think uh, you and who was it? You and Focus were the only ones that uh, chose not to, and uh, you just beat him out there. Um, anything else uh, in the race there? I'm, I'm trying to think of some other fights that you had because you were obviously in that uh, fight for, for third and then the fight for sixth there for a while. Um, what was your favorite fight there? Um, well, I had a few good fights at the start of the race, but then I had a huge spin. So, yeah, uh, those were the most enjoyable to me. Good deal. Well, good finish. Uh, really you, and if I'm not mistaken, you are a reserve on this race. You're not in Div 2, right? You're Div 1. Uh, I'm reserved for everything. So yep. yeah. Just a reserve. Okay. Well, congratulations, man. Uh, what you got, Stars? No, you covered all the points. Okay. Well, th thanks for popping in. And uh, congrats again, man. It's got to feel good. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Let's get BKT. See if he wants to... That's our driver of the day there.
How's it going, everyone? What up, BKT? Yo, BKT. Oh, wow. Well, I, I got to say, that was a fantastic drive. Um, you started 14th, so you were you were dead last. If I, Yes, so there were 14 today. So you started dead last, um, chose a great strategy, and you that first stint, you climbed a ton of spaces. Um, and we might have even missed some of your fights just because you were kind of fighting in the back there. But uh, what yeah. was your strategy going into it? Uh, basically, I got in late to quali. And on the one lap I had time for, uh, basically I bottled it on the last corner and uh, invalidated. So just run those mediums and try and keep up and then get them on softs at the end. Well, it worked out perfectly. I think the, the medium, the soft seemed to work pretty well in this race. Um, so there was another, it was between Dig Dug and Focus, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, was, lap 20. So you were, you were, now were you, were you just sitting back there waiting or what was your, what was your plan with that? Were you waiting for one of them to make a mistake or uh, what did you think when that happened? So basically I was just trying to uh, creep in on uh, Dig Dug because he was on softs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but it looked like we were both catching focus so it was just a matter of uh not losing touch by the time uh, uh dig dug got his drs on focus and thankfully they started squabbling so I caught right up and i figured either something was going to go wrong there or i'd uh, follow one of them through yeah it worked out perfectly it really was a beautiful fight there uh i think everyone watching enjoyed that um, and then the yeah, other thing I got a question about is, uh, that last safety car. Was there even a question in your mind of pitting or not pitting in that? Oh, absolutely not. My, uh, times were tumbling and I figured if I didn't pit, I was going to be a victim on old soft. So, uh, I looked behind and saw I had enough of a gap to focus that I shouldn't lose, uh, spots to anyone that pitted. So I figured go for it try and hit them on fresh softs and see what happens. Beautiful. what you got stars? I mean, you covered everything there again. <laughs> Sorry, like, Ben. Like, no, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. It's just, I know BKTE joined, you joined late, you know, qualifying, you didn't really get to put a real lap in. Like, I think you got one lap there at the end, right? It was yep, invalidated, and, right? Yeah. Yep, right at the end of the lap. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, heck of a drive for, you know, coming in late. You weren't even supposed to be here. A few red flags allowed you to be here, and then getting P2, good, good drive, man. Yeah, cheers, guys. Yeah, so cheers, man. Fun and uh, look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. For sure. Yeah, we'll be racing tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we won't be up there in the front with you, but we'll be watching. <laughs> ah, tomorrow's all right. where all the fast guys are. It's going to be a tough one. That's right. All right, thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it. Good race. No worries. Yeah, cheers. If tomorrow's where the fast guys are, why are we there? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have fun now. Let's see. Denny, let's see if Denny wants to do an interview and then we'll be done for the day here. Oh, no, is there's drama over the. There usually is. I mean, honestly, there's some necessary drama. I think. Uh, but it's some none things of the drama were... over, over the stuff I expected there to be. Oh, you're right. It's, okay. It's all over the incident with Dig Dug and Focus. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, that'll be a. Um... That'll be the job of the stewards to have to figure out what happened there because it's from our view, I would say it did look as though now I think some people might think that focus was maybe purposely turning into Dig Dug, but if we can get the onboards of both, take a look at it, it, it seems to me like he might have had a bit of understeer because of the line he took, which may still fall on him, right? But um I don't think anything looked purposeful, but there may be some some points awarded uh, or some some penalty points awarded. But I don't know that anything was purposeful. At least, what was your opinion on that? On the focus incident? Yeah, the focus and, and dig dug. I mean, did it look? Did anything look like anybody was trying to, to hit anybody? But if, after watching the clip that focus put, I mean, dig dug put. I think going through the front stretch, you know, he's. If, you're, if we're going at that point of the track, mm -hmm. he's already there, right? Mm -hmm. And once again, that's why even I preach myself, defensive driving is everything. You you see those red arrows. You know he's at least on, on your quarter panel. Leave, like, Dig Dug tried to look like just take the normal line. 
and they touched a little bit. You know, no harm, no foul really there. They just kind of wiggled, went back on their way. If we were on realistic damage, though, different story completely. Right. Then we go through T1, focus, because it looks like he gives the position back. I don't know what happened there. And then there's where I think focus is at fault, because it looks like he just tried to send it to get up the inside again. And Dig Duck thinks he could take his normal line. They collide. BKT drives off in the distance. Yep. So, um, so I hadn't seen the clip yet, obviously, because I don't. Uh, I've got the all my sounds on. I don't want to mm-hmm. use anything there. But um, yeah, it it does seem as though that could be a possibility. I'll have to take a look at it because it it did seem like it was understeer from a bad line. So if it's a dive bomb for a bad line, then then yeah, it's it's going to be on Beamer, but. Uh, we'll take a look at that. So it looks like uh, Denny does not speak English. I always forget about that. So um, I wish we had a translator. Uh, that would be kind of cool. But uh, I would say he sends his regards and he's glad to win, right? I'm just going to try to read his mind there. Um, okay. <laughs> but um, so I look forward to the race tomorrow. I thank everyone here for watching and tuning in and for the mostly clean driving. We I think we saw a lot of good clean battles today. Um, we saw some dirty stuff and we saw potentially maybe some desperate stuff there that uh, will be dealt with in the stewards room over the next few days and everything will will pan out the way it is. Uh, so that we still got the results up here on the screen. Arvex, Denny, BKT, not Serban uh, on the podium. And then Focused, at game, BPJP, Dig Dug, Jazza, might be Lucas, Sapo. And then, let's see, was that uh, Kahuna? So the top 10 are the only ones that finished. And then Beamer, Rack Next, Rocco, and Kale are all the DNF are disqualified. Yep. Um, so that's where we're at. I, I'm, I'm curious to see kind of how the standings work out because I think that Racknex had a good enough of a lead where the finishing points no. for Jazza is not going Ain't to catch matter. up. No. no. But the Alfa Romeos who was in second? Let's take a look at well I don't have that currently up but I do know that there was that uh, fight for the second and constructors that is pretty tight so anything could have changed there. Well, Alright guys uh Stars, you got anything else to add to this? I think it was a good one. I think it was a good one as well. N- nothing really else to add. We'll see you next week if we, you know, race. Yeah, hopefully some of these issues get worked out. But we're we're, gonna, we're just taking it week by week. And uh, I think that's all we can do at this point. It was an exciting race, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, two's in Brazil next week. And I love, love Brazil. Well, we're in love Canada. Yeah, so I think what they're doing is our first race was at Brazil, so they're making up for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think and the, then they did, they did Canada and we got correct. too many bugs to do it. So the, these are the makeup races for everybody. So, um, Brazil's a great race. I can't wait to watch that. Um, hopefully we are able to race it and we can commentate on it cause it should be exciting. And, uh, again, appreciate all you guys tuning in stars FPS. You're the man, um, check him out on YouTube, on Twitch and follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And If you haven't followed my channel, follow my channel. And you guys have a good rest of your evening, day, night, morning, whatever time it is where you are. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye.